Okay, so today we are going to watch Inside. I was going to get back into Harry Potter, but after watching Tick Tick Boom, Inside popped up on my watch again, and I haven't watched it since it first came out. But yeah, I look forward to watching it again. Uh, I haven't watched it in over a year, but I have been listening to the songs, mostly turning 30, because 30, 90, and turning 30. Both songs about turning 30, which I've recently done, so it'll be fun to get back into it. Yeah, let's watch! Yeah, I brought out my new camera, or my good camera today, so hopefully it'll look a lot better, but also you're probably going to see the reflection of everything in my glasses, so... Man, he looks so tall. Bo's really tall, right? Like six foot something? Uh, I always wonder like how much is what he's really feeling and how much is a performance because he is a performer. Obviously it's like it's real but played up to a certain extent. I made you some content. <laughs> like everything he does, the way it's shot, the lighting, everything by him. The room. Written, written, edited, shot, and directed. Camera test. Yeah, now the fact that he did everything, all of this. Obviously read all the songs and the jokes and the bits, but the lighting. Just the glare into the camera. So much time and energy put into this. I love all these different shots, like his hair, his beard is changing. shot of him right at the end. The world is changing. This is comedy, right? I haven't listened to this one as much. I don't know if there are many stand-up comedians. I don't watch much. If they do the it musically though, I'm always a lot more. From a white guy like me. Bingo. It's very self-deprecating humor. So it always freaks me out when he looks right at you. It just always strikes me how tall he is whenever he gets up, especially in that room. Oh, that 420 and 69. I mean, to a certain point, humor can be like a coping mechanism, right? Should I give away my money? No. <laughs> they never want to give away much money, right? And I'm sure there's a reason why he ordered all his songs the way he did too. So he's opening up for a saying like, look guys, I came for some content and with comedy. Hi. <laughs> Hi. New special for yeah, I'm sure real. he went into this um, doing like, let's just write songs normal special and we'll there's just no audience, see what happens. No crew. Part of me is like, is this scripted or is he just going off the cuff? Because he's, again, he's such to a good performer, it's from wanting hard to... to put a bullet into my head with a gun. Tell. Yeah, like that comment, like he's always so self-deprecating and dark jokes that it's like... <laughs> I always thought this song, again, like he's kind of starting with the more general ones, I feel. But you know, during the pandemic, we're all locked in our house, we couldn't go out. It's like, how do you stay connected with people? Uh, FaceTime or, you know, Zoom, which was, yeah, Zoom was such a big thing, I remember. He's put it down to the Zoom, <laughs> to the phone dimensions. He's such a good singer. <laughs> and then now it's multiple and he's getting a bit frustrated. Just you know that running joke of the generation above us not being so good at technology. I think it still ended with, okay I love you, bye. <laughs> but it's funny because just coming off a of tick tick boom, there's almost a similarity of this, they're struggling to finish their work. Like for Jono's Superbia, and Bo's inside. Like, there's kind of similarities between the two. <gasps> hey kids. Okay, this one I do Today listen to a lot. Learn about the world. Oh, I 
I love the jaunty tune, but obviously with the bow you're like, there's a twist coming. Like he embodies the kind of genre that he's doing so well, like he's so chirpy here. Hey everyone. And now it's definitely a kid's show. It's Socko! In a frightening liminal space between states of being. And you're like, ah yes, there's that existential dread. <laughs> Is built with blood and genocide and exploitation. When the kids are ready for it too, there's always that argument of how young kids need to be. I feel like high school, you're trying to figure out the world. world like it gets more messed up the more you look into it. <laughs> History is written by who won, right? I can't go back. Gotta oh, keep performing for please. the kids. I'm sorry. Well, you know, just gotta keep playing along. What? And the music stopped. Yes. Sir. Look at me. We're not playing anymore. That's better. I still feel uncomfortable during that bit, but that's the intention, right? Yeah, with both songs, you know, you're laughing and then you're very uncomfortable. It's a very exciting time to be a uh, brand. I feel it's like with comedy and then how the world works and then this, there's like a flow to it. A lot more. It always comes back to marketing, right? Like how can we market this even with like political activism. That, that J.P. Morgan is against racism, in theory. The question <laughs> is no... In theory. Look, this song I listen to so often. It's a beautiful ballad about Instagram. <laughs> it's so catchy. The whole... Every time it's the post, he's got, again, like, the phone dimension. The DIY. He's just... He's just having fun. <laughs> That's quite a shot. And it's sort of linking again to that political activism stuff. It's so catchy. Like, I look, when I first watched this, I was like, oh, those are actual good ideas for photo ideas. <laughs> He's a genius. Oh, and then this bit. Been a decade since you yeah, been like for some people, even if you think it's silly, the photos and stuff, it is a highlight reel, but also it's, you know, their creative outlet to a, to a certain extent. Like, this is his one, but we're also aware these are real people. Just be kind. The, like, backing vocals he does for himself. We're going well for this person, you know? For this white woman on Instagram. <laughs> Maybe that was the latest one. And then this shot of him just staring at it and like editing, I suppose. Yeah, like there is kind of that similarity in Tick Tick Boom about how hard it is. But not just linking it to that, I think also just, you know, Bo himself. He likes working on projects. Projects, I guess it distracts him from this big mess that's happening here of being, you know, stuck inside. Can anyone shut the fuck up? Can, <laughs> can. Yeah, everywhere. We're all connected, but it means we're all talking at, all at the same time. You're not shutting the fuck <laughs> up right now, and that's true, but. We're all talking all at the same time. Who needs a coffee because I'm doing a run? And it just jumps into the next one. Oh no, because it jumps into a reaction video and that's what he's complaining about. And that's what I'm doing. Hey everybody. <laughs> um, I thought I'd... And the amount of Bo Burnham reaction videos out there, which I'm now adding to. It's just so much inception happening right now. And then the layers with his reaction. At first it's all fun, but then you get into layers and layers and he gets annoyed. How he filmed this still confuses me. So he must have like filmed this and written it right of how he's reacting to layers and layers. So he just filmed this all straight and then edited it, it all together. There's a lot of talking going on in my ears now. I feel like it's layers of bow. Like at the top he's like, yeah, it means this. But then he kind of thinks too deep into it and then, I mean with anything really, you can think too far into yeah, it. There's so much talking going on. I'm, now, I'm getting uncomfortable again. I'm getting a wee bit anxious hearing all of this. Oh my god. 
this one, also because it's so short, is the one I've listened to the most on the album. Something about synthesizers. Was it during the pandemic he became like, I mean they all became retro, right? But Bezos is like, and then he just wrote an ode to him. Solo. How can you not dance to this? I don't know about you guys, but um, look at his, you know, I've been thinking all those wires <laughs> of our children for profit. Uh, you know, maybe that. I feel like there's going to be studies in the future about the next generations growing up, because like, yeah, social media and technology, it's getting a lot more invasive, and everyone. You know, to a certain extent, your sense of worth and value can be tied into all of that and growing up with that. As I'm Bo on the Pillow says, it's too much horny. thought. Oh, no, he's going into a different song. I forgot about sexting. <laughs> I just took a left turn. I love this shot of him there with all the words that he's um, projecting on himself. I don't know, I've never really delved into rules of online dating or relationships because I've been with my partner for over a decade and we met. It just feels like a minefield now. <laughs> All the reflections on his face. <laughs> it's like when you type LOL, are you really laughing out loud? It's like I'm just enjoying this song but at the same time. All the setup that he did for this is just, it's just so interesting. Also, all that, I think people have screenshotted that and he's like, really want, you know, consent. Consent is important. <laughs> now, it's just all the eggplants. Is it really an eggplant? Is a peach really a peach? I could think when you look at the phones, that's so unhygienic. Like everyone's phone screens is so gross. Thank you. Thank you for watching my content. <laughs> the ukulele background. I use that a lot. I mean the ukulele music. This always made me nervous as fit. He could have done a jump scare. He could just dive at that camera with the knife, but just that feeling of uncomfortableness that I've associated with Bo. There isn't much more to say. I like the song too. Everything's such a bop. Can you be funny while stuck in a room? That's a big fucking breath. Um, I play piano, and I remember when I used to practice songs because I don't play it much anymore. But I did the same thing. Like you play it. If I made a mistake, you'd just suddenly swear and be like, "Damn it, start again." <laughs> but yeah, the songs he's writing. He's writing, and for a while trying to write something else, I feel like. Or, I don't know, I don't know his process. I'm just in awe of it all. You did it! Good job. Oh no, he does it again, doesn't he? I think that was perfect, but he's like, one more. That's always a shot they use for his, um, like, when they show inside. That one right there of him just glaring at what he's doing. Oh wait, or is this his past videos he's looking at? It's his past videos, right? Bits are coming back to me. Cause even this background music, he put it in, he played it. I just, I always forget that this is all him. Everything. Oh, he is glaring at his past self. Problematic, that's another song, right? Is that coming up then? Yes. The, like, <laughs> the tripping, the workout song. He's very self-aware, Bo is. I feel like he's so self-aware to the point that he wants to get ahead of other people who might try to levy that criticism on him, which means he's just always criticizing himself. And he's repentant. Really very repentant. This is the only religious reference, I think, in this one. There, I'm on center. Oh. That felt legitimate. <laughs> and the whole time I had a, a goal and 
He gets like antsier and more I just, I just jiggly to throughout. Avoid. I wonder if he wrote this before or after turning 30. And the music starts. I used to run for miles. Oh, I thought I was in I used to ride my Again. Be the young one. I got used love to meeting that. people who are used to meeting some. Using his phone for an extra light. That chorus feels right for turning 30. <laughs> now my stupid friends are having stupid children. My stupid friends are having stupid. I suppose it does feel like that, but I'm one of those friends. <laughs> it's the next step, right? Having kids being responsible for the next generation. Again, though, dark, dark jokes, humor. But 40 does sound a lot scarier than 30. <laughs> Again, do one. I just want to say for the ring with, you know, suicidal That's thoughts. That's a funny and, and um, you angle. Kill yourself. Like it's quite I just want to tell low. you. This is way near the end. I look at his hair. But really, don't his kill yourself. You don't want to because beard. It's gonna trudge through that section before you get to you know the better parts. I suppose it does feel like that sometimes. I don't remember intermission. What 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 are we doing here? I got so confused with this at first. I thought he was really cleaning the camera, but he's cleaning like a board in front of the camera. Right. <laughs> Funny seeing it from this angle. The room is always usually from the other side. How are you feeling? Do you like the Ooh. show? Don't wanna know. Are you your attention? Yes or I no? Like I bet I guess the answer though. It wouldn't make a difference still. I don't wanna know. It's slowly pushing in. I give away the ending, but you don't want What's up, boys? Welcome to the stream. Um, oh, I'm going to be doing this. some live play today for the first time. He does a reaction and the gaming. <laughs> Freaked me out seeing him in the corner. Is, is, so is the dude big or is the room small? <laughs> I had about. that thought. Chat saying try the door. Yeah. He is super tall. He's taller than the door. Okay, but he seems He's smiling. Yeah, he's happier. Nice. Music makes him a bit happier. I don't know. Guess that's how it feels, nice. right? Each day, okay, yeah. cry, play music, yeah, right. wander around, um, stuck inside. Alright, I'm into this. He does look very tired. Ooh, yes, this is, this is <laughs> Yeah, I am not feeling good. <laughs> Wait, tell us how you're feeling. Well, I feel like shit. Oh, and the oh, lights again. Feeling like a saggy mass of sack of shit. Oh. Ladies, do you feel like shit? Tell me, do you feel like shit? Oh yeah, fellas, are you feeling like shit? Blue, Tell me, pink do you feel like shit? Very short though. Wish it was a bit longer, but gets the message across. Uh, my current mental health is Ooh. is rapidly approaching um, a lot of an ATL. Again. Mm, very fidgety and very just. From the moment I wake up. I, uh, I just get this feeling in my mind. <laughs> Sorry. I should have expected that, but I forgot about this one. All right, a few things start to happen. My vision starts to flatten. My heart, it gets to tap in. And I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm not... I forgot about that one. <laughs> Welcome to the internet. Man, just Have coming hard and fast now, all the songs. Anything that... Obviously, I know this one. <laughs> Just nod or shake your head and we'll do the rest. Algorithms well, right. Welcome, tip for straining Costa. Here's a nine-year-old who died. We got... Feels like it takes a few more layers to slip from the pasta stuff to the death ones, but not really. A bunch oh, of colored pencil really? drawings of all the different characters in Harry yeah, Potter fucking each other. Welcome, up. Here's why women never fuck you. Here's how you can build a bomb. With power. I've never pointed out that's all in one shot because, yeah, all just goes to one to the other. Conspiracy theories, all the angry people, everyone mixes together, and you can just sometimes fall down that hole. A a I love this choice for a, 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 a kind of zany, kindly, 
Turn up. The only time I was really able to use the internet was to go and like those random old flash games like Barbie and then um to use like for study in Carter. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't really get into all this internet and social media thing until like high school, so like mid to late two thousands. Maybe he's talking more than you was it Zoomers? And yeah, they've always just grown up with the internet. <laughs> and then it turns. It's a good cackle. And everything, all of the time. And then you get sucked in and you a never really of everything, get out. Of you know, it's so different now because like if you don't have your phone even for a couple of minutes and you have to like, you're waiting somewhere Everyone, you automatically go to your phone, you know, you play a game, you read something, you watch a video, you can't be bored. So yeah, I'm gonna work on this forever and I'm never gonna release it, so I'm not talking to anyone. This is right the now. first sort of myself. interlude between so, songs yeah, for a while now, cares. actually. Fuck you and goodbye and let's keep going. Okay. Jeffrey Bezos. What is Jeffrey Bezos on the brain a lot? See? Important live comedy in these oh, weird he's, times. Oh, he's in his underwear um, again. It's funny because he can't play guitar oh, well, but better than I could. Backlash to the backlash to the thing that's just begun. The internet does be like that. There it is again, that funny feeling. There's lots of discussion online about what that funny feeling is, but I guess it's just, you know, that funny feeling, yeah, like, what, what's it all about, you know? Robert Iger's face. Yeah, it picks like random stuff. Some funny. Discount and some like, is that funny? Is that meant to be funny? <laughs> Thousand years of this. Seven more to go. That line, that's like the tipping point, right? Which we're Carpool pretty much on. It's kind of scary to think of how things are going to be in 30 odd years. Again, for the next generation. A gift shop at the gun range, a mass shooting at yeah, the Yeah, the gun laws in the U.S. don't make any sense. There it is. Uh, yeah, that funny feeling. I don't know how to describe it. It's like that pause or just that, you know, you're sort of unsure, like, should that be like that? But it'll be over soon. You wait. No, they have a double meaning. It'll be over soon, like you might move past it or the other way. You have noticed the second half since intermission, a lot more songs, a lot less random bits in between. <coughs> you always get that feeling of like how much is performance, how much is really him, and I feel like it's always so I've been working it's like on a back and forth. This, uh, special. So I've been working on He's this always special like one more take, um, one more take. A year now. It's just a lot of Which pressure is, on um, himself. A lot started. And that seemed like legitimate frustration and anger. You can kind of see like at the beginning it was all fun, he's very all snarky, now he's just just not. looks so tired and done with the special. What's going on? Um, well. Oh. Ah, this is coming up to all eyes on me, isn't it? Because he always has that big number that he ends on. Because I've seen, I've seen Make Happy and What, like Make Happy was um, Can't Handle This and with What it was um, We Think We Know You and I feel like this, All Eyes On Me, is that point in the show for those two. Yeah, that self-reflection of where he is as a comedian and a performer in relation to his audience. It's always a bit unnerving that any time he looks directly at the camera because he's directly looking at us and acknowledging us in a way, you know? I feel like I should put my hands up because I'm being told to. <laughs> because I was beginning to have... I um, watch his podcast with H3H3 as well and um, yeah, he was saying the thing about like straight after make happy and he left on set he's like having incredible like panic attacks and anxiety attacks and it just kept getting worse it's like i gotta i gotta stop mm, he's in a better place mentally he's like let's try this again 
then. The funniest thing. Oh, worldwide. Pandemic. <laughs> that literally sent everybody inside for the better part of a year. Going on two years now. It definitely does mess with your head a little bit, especially as someone who's just recovering and you know getting in a better mental space. Just I kept joking with my partner that like our daughter is gonna study about you know COVID nineteen and everything about that that happens. Talk to you. Get the fuck out. I wasn't Every time he does that, I always get a little bit anxious. Like, I'm sorry, don't yell at me. He's <laughs> like, the all eyes on me is like, it's an expectation, it feels like, but also, he doesn't want all eyes on me, you know? And yeah, now that we're sort of, he got that all eyes on me stuff off his chest, now we're getting a lot more of these bits of in between songs. I think there's only one more song after this. So I guess he sort of, he got all those thoughts and stuff out in his song. Definitely feels like we're wrapping it to an end. Um, this must have been way at the beginning. Uh, Look at his hair and his beard. It's... It not... Take yeah, and he feels a lot more like snarky one. at the beginning. Goodbye. I love those shots. It fades from him back then to him now. You can really see how long his hair got and his beard. Ah, oh, yeah, no, I just can't get over it. The editing, the lighting, the music, sound design, writing everything. All by one person. Which is also kind of how I guess he started, right, on YouTube. Everything done by himself. And the song's got so much callbacks to all his previous songs. Right, now we get all the, like, behind-the-scene kind of shots. Was he wearing clothes before? I feel like he was. Now he's exposed, for lack of a better word. Nice, the door is open. Yeah, and this is what I mean by like, you know, he's a performer, so this is a bit... He filmed this at night and just put on a spotlight. And he's like, go back inside. Nick is really putting on a show, you know what I mean? See, in the end, it's all an act, is that what he's saying? Or obviously like he did to some extent feel that anxiety and uh, throughout the year. But at the end hopefully he's still in a better place mentally and he's you know, it's a show. That's kind of what I get from it now rewatching it. Cause he's kind of watching very passively. And then smiles at the end, so I was like, okay, thank you for watching. Recorded live in his house. Laura, that's his partner, right? So, yeah, like it's part um, performance, but a performance based off of his real life. And then right at the end, he's linked the, um, about mental health and suicide. Mental health is definitely a big thing. And that's the end. And I actually watched all the credits because, well, there wasn't much. So, yeah, that was Bo Burnham's Inside. Um, was a lot of fun rewatching it. I think rewatching it now, though, like when I first watched, I was very worried about his mental health. But looking at it now and sipping, you know, looking at it now down the line, I do feel like it was, you know, more of a performance because he's a performer. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed me watching Bo Burnham's Inside. Uh, if you did like it, if you could like, comment, maybe subscribe, that would be pretty cool. And uh, I try to upload every week, been sticking with it so far. Uh, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. And um, I'll see you guys next time.